Hello and welcome everyone. I am Pisces Intuition here with another virtual goodies unboxing. Um, I thought I was done filming for today and then I received this little beauty in the mail and so I had to come on here to kind of open it for you guys and let you check out the stuff because this month is amazing. Um, every month is kind of amazing with them, don't get me wrong, but this month happens to be my favorite um, because this is a tarot box. So again, this is from Spiritual Goodies. I will leave my code down below if you want um, to get $10 off of your first box. Alright, so the first thing is I use tarot as a tool to connect with my higher self and tap into my intuition. Do, do, do. Here we go, kind of hopefully. Okay. All right, so then we have um, the little pamphlet here that tells you everything that's in the box. Again, it has the same little affirmation on there. I use tarot as a tool to connect with my higher self and tap into my intuition, which, you know, that's what we all do with tarot. Um, you know, tarot is a great tool for spiritual guidance. Um, you know, definitely I connect with tarot. I mean, I'm a tarot reader and, you know, I try to help other people connect with it as well. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's something that, you know, I've always had a passion for something I've always been drawn to, uh, something I just, I absolutely love and it is part of my daily, everyday life. So again, yeah, very connected to tarot. So that's why I was so excited for this particular box. Um, now, like I said, inside this little pamphlet, what I like about them is uh, spiritual goodies tends to like really kind of point out like, you know, spiritual teacher spotlight, which is Biddy Tarot. Um, you know, so meet Bridget, best known author of the Everyday Tarot and founder of Biddy Tarot. So, you know, again, another one of my favorite people um, <laughs> because I do have, you know, some other decks. Um, but, you know, I have like a, a really, really good collection of tarot cards. One day I will actually take a picture or walk you guys through it. If you guys are interested, you know, let me know. I can do that for you. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and let's get started because I am anxious to see what is in here. Okay, so we have a special small cloth. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so like a tarot cloth. I'm such a graceful unboxer. <laughs> Set that down. Okay, the cloth feels nice. Oh, nice. All right, so that's what it looks like in case you guys are curious. There we have the little pinnacles. We have the cups. Right here we have the swords. We have the wands. Beautiful. Oh, and let me tell you, if you guys are interested, um, this cloth actually retails for about $15 and um, you can get that on hiddencrystaltarot.com if you're interested. Let's see, what is this? Okay, so this is Tip of the Moon Candle. It has a bunch of cute little designs. Let me turn it just this lighting. And of course that is not going to pick up either. Alright, so this is just a candle here. Oh, beautiful. This is a divination jasmine flower and sea salt candle. It's a soy wax candle um, topped with herbs and crystals. I absolutely love these candles. I actually, I really love making these candles. Um, but, you know, definitely buying them is way more convenient because they can kind of tend to be a little time consuming. And as a tarot reader, going through like a million candles um, because the candles are like a must have for me. So I definitely go through them a lot. So, like I said, as a tarot reader, sometimes you just kind of have to, um, you know, kind of take the short route, you know, and just buy them. You know, I don't always have time to make them. So this is absolutely beautiful. And I love that it's a divination candle and it smells so good. This candle retails for $16.95. Um, Etsy.com, tip of the moon. I love Etsy. All right, now let's see. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And this is what I've been waiting for. Okay, so we have the, um, the tarot cards here. It's a tarot made easy set. It is $22. Okay, so this is like an introduction to tarot cards. So this is the classic tarot deck, um, you know, the classic like Rider Waite, you know, deck. Um, they remain true to the original design and symbolism. Um, and it does come with a book too, so I will look for that in here. 
but it tells you, it gives you like little tips. That's what I love about the spiritual goodies too. Um, it gives you kind of like little tips and tricks to um, kind of get you started. You know, whether it's like an affirmation, whether it's just advice. I don't want to open this yet, but then I do. Oh, we're going to open it. <laughs> I've been waiting for this box. When I find out, <clears throat> found out there was going to be a tarot box, yeah, I was all for it. Okay, and look at those pictures. And the High Priestess, <clears throat> she's always the main card I am always drawn towards. Like, I have to see, before I see any of the other cards, I have to see the High Priestess. If I vibe with the High Priestess in that particular deck, then that deck is going home with me. So, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful pictures, illustrations, artwork, colors. All right. Um, that's the back of the deck, just in case you are curious. Okay, and I told you guys that retail for like $22. Okay, this looks like a crystal, and then I'm not sure what this is in here. Again, I'm a graceful unboxer, I know. Okay, so um, the other thing that kind of came in here is, let's see, this is a clear quartz point. Um, this value is $3, and clear quartz, this is a universal crystal. So whenever, like if you do any spell work, if you do, um, you know, just any type, you know, meditations, anything that you use crystals for, you know, if you don't have a particular crystal, um, you know, even just using them like as protection, using them for, um, you know, intuition, you know, whatever the case is, if you have a uh, clear quartz, this is, like I said, universal. So as long as you have one of these, you can substitute it for any other crystal that, um, you know, your work or your um, whatever you're doing is calling for. So, you know, there's no need to spend, you know, thousands on crystals or anything. As long as you got one of these babies, you are good. All right, so now let's see what is in here. Oh, this is a cute little baggie too, very soft. Oh, I love that. Okay, so we've got some black tourmaline here. Black tourmaline is really good for, um, um, for protection, for grounding. Um, you know, it's that, like psychic shield that kind of, let me just read you. <laughs> Let me read this to you um, because they're going to know more. I can't remember everything off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, black tourmaline. So it is a powerful grounding stone and acts as a psychic shield that deflects negative energy. It's highly useful in purifying and neutralizing your own negative thoughts and internal conflicts, turning them into positive energy. So this stone can align the centers of the body and channel healing light throughout the system. It promotes a sense of power and confidence, allowing for a clearer, more objective view of the world. And then we also have a citrine stone, which I, that is beautiful. Um, citrine, this is a great stone to bring, bring positive energy into a reading space. Citrine helps amplify courage, self-esteem, and positive self-image. It enhances spiritual growth, and it's great to boost your creativity. Then, of course, this beautiful beauty right here. Um, this stone is probably the most underrated crystal for divination. It's a great crystal for clarity, concentration, and thought. It's associated with intuition, divination, and connecting to higher planes of consciousness. Uh, fluorite is a student stone associated with you know clarity, clarity and productivity and learning. Great for tarot students. So all these little stones um, have like a retail value here of like $10, but definitely worth it. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so now we have, let's see, I think this is a tarot journal, yep, a tarot journal, and this is also from Etsy.com, shop, um, John Day Summer, I think, I hope I'm saying that right, J-A-N-D-E, and then Summer, but this is a cute little tarot journal. And that's the cover of it, it says spiritual goodies on there. 
That is so cute. So it just has like a place where, you know, you can either sketch, you know, the card, especially sketch like, um, let's say a particular card, you know, like this King of Pentacles, certain things that stick out to you. You can sketch in here or you can just try to sketch your own, you know, King of Pentacles, whatever it is that's catching your eye. And then definitely keywords that are associated with this card so that it helps you to kind of memorize them, um, you know, especially what you are getting like intuitively, you know, from that card as well. Um, you know, any kind of, like I said, you know, in the notes section you know how you feel towards it you know colors um symbols that are on there you know all kinds of things you you can write down you know like i said you know put the card name up here you know the keywords the notes section um yeah and it's got plenty of little pages here to do that so that is a really good idea that is a really cute idea i've never actually done like a tarot journal like this um but i could definitely see that being extremely helpful all right now the last item last but not least and I have these little packing things on me, um, is the Barbara Moore, Your Tarot, Your Way, Learn to Read with Any Deck. So this book. So this book is um, part of the set. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it is part of this, like I said, this card set, and that it does retail for $22. Um, you can check it out on www.luellen.com. I tend to get a lot of my planners from Luellen. They've got a lot of really good, um, you know, books. They've got a lot of really good, like, um, astrology books, astrology calendars. Like I said, I tend to get a lot of, like, my books and um, reading materials and everything from them. So you can learn to read tarot with any deck. This is going to, you know, give you, like, the basics. This is going to give you the brief history you know, about the tarot cards, where they come from, you know, we have um, the meaning of the numbers, <clears throat> the meaning of the suits, you know, the court cards, and then they go into the majors. They give you, oh, I love that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been talking for like ever because I just finished a bunch of readings for you guys. Like I said, I thought I was done filming, but then I got this and I, I had to come on here and show you because I was so excited and I had to break open this box. So, all right. So that's one thing I love. I always um, look for different tarot spreads. I come up with a lot of my own, but you know, I mean, it's still, just, you know, there's a lot of great ideas out there, you know, creative, even just for inspiration. You know, they um, put out different little spreads. And so I love that this book gives you those, you know, those spreads for you to kind of learn as well because when you're just starting like if you are just starting your tarot journey ugh, tarot journey you know all of this stuff is going to be helpful because this is how you start this is what you start off with you know these are great little tools to really start off with like I said a candle for me was always a must um you know so I go through candles like nobody's business you know um but yeah, but definitely, like I said, you know, and I love to read, so I'm always picking up, you know, new books, things like that. Um, Llewellyn happens to be, like I said, some of my favorite ones that, you know, um, put books out. So if you guys are just starting your tarot journey, you know, you might check into this box because, I mean, the price is not bad at all, especially for everything that you are getting here. It definitely kind of retails for over the price of what you do pay for the spirituals goodies, spiritual goodies box. And you get absolutely, like I said, beautiful items. So yeah, so look at that. This is like a tarot reader's dream. <laughs> All right, so instead of just ending the video after showing you guys the, um, you know, the unboxing of the spiritual goodies, I wanted to kind of give you a dem give you a demonstration, kind of just do like a general, you know, reading like overall for you know everybody here. Um, just kind of see, you know, what comes out, you know, again, so you can kind of see the cards, um, see how they're used. I'm not lighting the divination candle just yet because I'm still using my other candle. And like I said, I go through candles like nothing. So definitely going to save this one for a bit. Um, but oh my gosh, I love it. Just opening the lid. It smells so good. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get started. see what comes out. Spirit, give us some good news. I think we could all use it right now. Ah, that was not a good shuffle. All right. So just a little bonus reading. 
Ooh, okay. So I'm not going to take all of them, but we do have the Ace of Cups coming out. Ace of Cups, you know, that's that new opportunity, new beginning. So somebody could be falling in love. Um, definitely have a new, having a new opportunity at love. This could be even rekindling a relationship. Nice. That is what I want to see for everybody. Yeah, it looks like you've been kind of defensive about a particular situation. Maybe you've just kind of been like not feeling a relationship, just kind of like doing your own thing. Just like, I don't know if I'm ready to let my guard down. And then it's like, boom, the love bug bites. Okay, so we have a justice card coming out. So, you know, you could be getting, for some of you, this is a divorce, getting out of a relationship, moving into a new relationship. For others of you, this is kind of um, getting that apology that you feel like you are owed. This is kind of righting a wrong. So, again, for some of you, this is kind of rekindling things. You know, your person coming back, wanting to work on things with you, wanting to balance the scale, wanting to, again, fix that wrong, you know, right that wrong that they... Um, you know, that they kind of made within this relationship, you know, leaving you kind of defensive, like, you know, do I want to hear you out? Okay, you know what? I'll hear you out. Let's rekindle this because it is all about the love. All right, because you've got connection to this person. You've got love for this person. Okay, any other messages? Ten of Cups. What? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. The Empress sitting pretty in her throne, you know, that rebirth, that regeneration, that um, motherly nature, you know, caring, nurturing, um, starting a new cycle. Like I said, birthing a new cycle here. Ten of Cups, you know, that's that happy family. It's that um, emotional abundance. Again, we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups coming out. So even though there's been some, like, you know, bumps and bruises along the way, some kind of roadblocks, um, you know, definitely some kind of arguing, you know, kind of like trying to find that middle ground with each other. You know, you're finding it. This is a true love. Like I said, this feels like a really uh, good connection here. You both are really... Yeah, you both are willing to work things out within this connection and put, you know, like I said, make this work between you two. You both want this connection and you're both going to do what it takes to get that connection and keep that connection. So beautiful, beautiful. All right. So... Maybe once I hit 4,000, I will go live and definitely do some more free reading giveaways. Um, just answer, answer some free questions because I like doing that for y'all. Alrighty, so, um, you know, let's do some message from the universe before we go. Three cards, message from the universe, from your guides, from spirit, from source, whatever it is that, you know, you call the higher power. Let's get some messages. Three cards before we go. Okay, we have one. We have two. We have three. All right, so we have the High Priestess, we have the Five of Cups, and we have the Hermit card. So what I'm getting is everything that's kind of going on in the world, you know, it's kind of... Um, it's that shadow, you know, it's kind of working out those shadows. You know, we all carry shadow with us. You know, we all have to do shadow work. We all have to kind of acknowledge that there's not just a light side, but there's also a dark side. There's that balance within us. Nature is balance. You know, we are balance as well. Um, you know, this five of cups is really kind of concentrating on something that you've lost, but not realizing there's still hope. So what I'm getting is everything that is kind of going on in the world that's kind of, you know, keeping us at, you know, a distance from our loved ones, from our family, from our friends, from, um, you know, just socializing, you know, general population, things like that. We're kind of being hermited right now. You know, it's really kind of, um, it almost was like a blessing in disguise, really kind of, you know, doing some soul searching, really kind of finding that light, really kind of, you know, seeing things for, you know, what they are, seeing the good in things, seeing that there's still hope. There's a light at the end of this tunnel. Like I said, not all hope is lost. There's two cups right here that this person's not acknowledging yet. Once they turn around, they will, like I said, and they will see not all hope is lost. We have the high priestess here holding, you know, all that knowledge, you know, the keeper of secrets, the person closest, like I said, to source, you know, really really trust your intuition here guys um definitely 
you know, get, like I said, with the soul searching, it's just, it feels like a very spiritual time. It feels like very, like you are headed towards a kind of spiritual path here. Um, you know, some people may not understand it, you know, but it's like, you're changing, you know, you're kind of, you're heading down this path. Like I said, kind of, um, like a path of self-discovery, um, you know, kind of a spiritual path, if you want to look at it that way, but definitely, you know, kind of like getting in touch more with source, with spirit, um, you know, doing your own thing. Like I said, path of self-discovery so what you find is definitely your own journey and what is meant for you so all right well i hope this was a fun little reading for you guys um you know beautiful messages here for you guys uh definitely stay positive stay strong uh trust in your intuition you're growing that you're communicating with your own intuition you're learning to trust yourself again um instead of just kind of like you know ignoring that little voice because it's like a lot of people a lot of us here lately you know especially with you know just technology everything in general it's just like we kind of ignore our own selves here lately and it's like we're kind of just getting back in touch with our own intuition with our own um our own higher selves so all right well thank you guys so much i hope you guys like those cards i think they're awesome um definitely great for beginners um you know that book is going to definitely come in handy for um you know, if you guys are just starting this tarot journey, like I said, be patient. Definitely trust in that intuition. Um, the journey is long, but it is well worth it and full of hope. And it leads you on to such a great path. So, all right. Thank you guys so much. Like I said, um, thanks for watching the unboxing. I hope you liked it. And I will talk to you guys again soon. So take care.